What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today we got another Pokemon trailer. Yes, we just watched the Pokemon Legends Arceus trailer. And if you haven't watched my trailer reaction review to the new Pokemon Legends Arceus trailer, I recommend you one, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you always get notified whenever I drop a video. And then also after this video, check out those videos that I'm talking about. I'm gonna have a full playlist of all my trailer reactions pop up on a card as well if you're just looking for coverage for pokemon legends arceus or bbsp i have separate playlists for those individual games let's jump in and check out the new diamond and pearl trailers this one is team galactic awaits in pokemon brilliant diamond and shiny pearl just a quick reference if you are new to the channel i haven't played these games fully i played them when the games initially dropped i wasn't a huge fan of the ds i had uh, I had diamond and then I played through maybe one or two gym battles and then again I was so down on how the DS felt compared to the PSP at the time which I had and I had both of them around the same time even though I think I was late to getting the DS but again didn't like the DS so much that I actually passed on a ton of Pokemon DS games now that's again I need to be clear on that because I did play through Heart Gold, Soul Silver, still one of my favorite DS games. I did play through Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. Granted, that's 3DS, but you know, still the same family. X and Y, same boat, played it the first couple of gems, and that was it. So, a lot of the stuff that I am seeing from these trailers are completely new to me. So, I'm excited to jump into these games on the Switch. Let's jump in and check out this brand new trailer Team Galactic. I don't even think I bumped into them the first time I played this game. And they're the bad team, right? Brilliant Diamond, Shiny Pearl. News. Snowy. Okay. Gym leaders of the Sinnoh Pokemon League. Oh, I'm liking this. I love it when they do like, almost like trick rooms to battle the Pokemon in. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Traditional gym battles. Yes, give me the puzzles. I fucking love the Pokemon gym puzzles. They're not incredibly hard, but they do... It makes it interesting when you walk into a place and you gotta figure out how to get to the person. I think it's pretty cool. My friend said Team Galactic took their favorite Pokemon away. They say Kalerian came from space, hand it over. Team Galactic is an interest in this world beyond the stars. Okay. The mysterious Team Galactic. Team Galactic Grunt sends out. Okay. Double battles. Okay. Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Okay. The names are like on the head. Okay. So wait. Are, are these just grunts or do they have like all of the planets? Okay, this is homeboy, Cyrus. I know of him from Pokemon Masters, and obviously, if you're on the internet and you're in the Pokemon world, you know who this guy is. And he's in Team Rainbow Rocket, too. The legendary Pokemon that slumbers beneath Sinnoh Lakes. The Lake Trio! Ha! Huh. I totally forgot they're in this game. Granted, I never got to them in the in the, the first time, but I did remember they were from these games. Let me know in the comment section below if they were shiny locked. I don't think I have them shiny. Platinum style outfits. Okay, does that confirm that we're getting platinum stuff in this game? Okay, okay. Okay style trailer introduced a lot of stuff. Granted, this is a remake of a game that came out over 10 years ago. So when I say new, I mean new stuff to this version of the game. And everything looks pretty good, it's pretty spot on, clear, like a brand new Pokemon game should look like. Again, coming out 2021, but it is a re-enhanced version of the DS game. So again, they went with it, our style that doesn't look 2021. However, gameplay wise, it does look pretty good. And I do like the aesthetic that how it looks total, like compared in the world. 
even the, the you know chibi style is kind of huh i do like how the battles look the battles and the worlds the battles take place in look incredible i wish we got a full game that looked like that closer to pokemon sword and shield but i understand why they went for this look i mean it's a remake and they're trying to just get this one out for the fan service while they do work on the next games and pokemon legends arceus style games so i do understand this does look pretty good though i am liking how team galactic is forming you know especially with the spot on names and stuff like that i think that's pretty cool they did hint along with you know introducing cyrus who is the boss the main villain of the game kind of lackluster way to introduce him to be honest in the trailer with no voice dialogue or anything that kind of makes him feel threatening trying to end the world you know what i'm saying the same thing with the lake trio i feel like that was not needed to show off in a trailer if it's just gonna show where they're at you know what i'm saying it would carry more weight or more significant if it were a surprise and granted they are remakes so nothing is literally a surprise at this point but you know what I mean for new players that Pokemon hitting within the game or surprises and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure there are more than what they are showing in this trailer and more than what we know to be in the games and stuff like that. Even though they did say there was going to be faithful remakes, I think they might throw a couple of gems or a couple of Pokemon outside of the Pokemon that made the original game. I think they are going to keep it tight to the base Pokedex, but then legendary Pokemon, for example, might be able to swing in or something like that. We don't have to wait too long to find out because these games are coming out literally in like 25 days so we can find out very soon and i'm excited i'm gonna play through these games i'm gonna do tons of guides on these games let's grade these trailers i, for I forgot to throw a grade on it um hmm. it was better than the brand new pokemon legends arceus trailer but again it was not super impactful i'm gonna have to give this one a six again right above average great trailer to showcase what's going on inside of the pokemon games but at this point we're 25 days away you either show up or go home. And I feel like they still saving a little bit of the showing up part for whatever reason. And it looks like they, you know, cause we all know that there's um, Garatina in the game. There's Arceus in the game potentially. They need to show that. <laughs> I think those scenes are epic and they're trying to save it. But I feel like if we got a glimpse of them inside of these games, it kind of will, you know, bring those hypes levels to the roof because those are the what the fuck moments in a Pokemon game the last secret legendary the mythical pokemon these hidden legendaries are cool but again they're not gonna be the defining factor to go out and buy the game and i do think they need to show them in game in the trailer before the game comes out i mean they could do that on launch day trailer as well to kind of not ruin it but i mean get us hype man these are remakes get us hype for the remakes you don't have to breadcrumb feed us until the game launches for stuff that's in the game we know it's in the game well at least some of us do I'm one of those people that don't know. I don't know. I'm not really super hype on the trailer. I am super hype on the game, though. Let me know what you think about Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl in the comment section below. Do you think this trailer deserves a 6? Higher? Lower? Let me know what you would give it in the comments. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Pokemon, Mario, Fortnite, Call of Duty, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far move the videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one